Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1392. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1392 start or the finished file so you can follow along. Click on the link below the video. Hey, we've got to talk about doing case sensitive unique count and whether to use Power Query or a data model pivot table. Now, here's my column of names, and I already used the count a function which counts not empty cells. So it looks like I have exactly 1,200 records here. Now, I already know they should all be different, even though we can see right here these three names are exactly the same except for the case. But I need a formula to count over here that will count these as unique. Well. One thing I tried was copy, paste, remove duplicates. But the problem is I copied this whole thing. I highlighted the whole column, went up to data, remove duplicates, and then did count up. But remove duplicates is not case sensitive. Then I added this proper Excel table as a pivot table source to the data model and then used the distinct count function. So here, right click, summarize values by more options. I use that amazing new distinct count function in a data model pivot table, but that's not case sensitive either. So that's where Power Query comes to the rescue. It's just amazing as the years roll by, Power Query seems to have all sorts of amazing features that really help us in powerful ways. Now, in order to use Power Query, you either have to have, like I have, Excel 2016 data ribbon tab. Power Query is the Get and Transform group. If you have Excel 2010 or 13, you simply download Power Query as a separate tab. Then this is an official Excel table, and I've already named it. So it has the name T names. Click in a single cell, data. From table, I can bring it in to the query editor. There's our column of names. I'm going to come over here and name this query. Distinct count names and enter. I already have two steps, but I do not need to change the data type. So I'm going to use the red X to remove that. Now we only have two steps over here. We select the column. And in the Home ribbon tab, Reduce Rows, we want to say Remove Duplicates. And there it is. And guess what? Even though it's the same icon as over in Excel, this one is case sensitive. So when I click that, if there were any duplicates, they were removed. Now, this is completely separate from the original data set. This is just the query. So we did something here in the query. Now, I need to come over to Transform, over to Number Column. And even though it's not a number column, if I click the drop down for statistics, there it is, count distinct values. So when I click that, there is my number answer. Now I can simply come to Home, Close and Load, Close and Load 2. As a table, I want to dump it back into Excel. I'm going to say on the existing sheet, click the Collapse button. I want to put it in E3, click OK. Now I can click Load. And just like that, I have a distinct count, case sensitive, of all those names. All right, Power Query is pretty amazing. We'll see you next video.